I'm Adventure Glide, and welcome to the Adventure Glide channel. If you don't watch my channel, then you probably don't know, I like to ride motorcycles a lot. In this video, we'll cover the best paved motorcycle rides I know of in Northeastern Nevada. If I miss something you think should be added to the list, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to get out, ride it, and add it to the list. I plan on making videos highlighting the best rides in specific areas around the country that you might plan on visiting on a long weekend or a new area you just moved to. There isn't one ride on my list or videos that I have not personally ridden. This list started with 40 rides, just too many for a top five list, so it wasn't easy. There will also be five best dirt rides edition coming shortly. Number five, Harrison Pass. This Butler Maps G2 road is located on the south end of the Ruby Mountains. Just head south out of Elko towards Spring Creek, and as you approach the Corey's Market and Scoreboard Casino, make a ride on Highway 228. 228 will take you out past South Fork Reservoir and Zunino Reservoir into the town of Jiggs. Jiggs was named after a famous comic book character in 1918. I've never heard of it, but if you have, let me know down in the comments. Normally I love this road, but it is covered in cow shit everywhere. And don't forget to stop in and see Harry and Isabel for a quick bite to eat and a cold one. As you travel beyond Jigs, you start to approach the Ruby Mountains, and this is where the road gets good. The road starts to twist and turn all the way up into the colorful aspen trees, eventually turning into dirt, and we'll cover this section in the best dual sport rides edition. If you're feeling adventurous, this ride will likely go from number five to number one on your list. Number four, Taylor Canyon. This Butler Maps G2 and 3 road is just a short ride north out of Elko, Nevada. Head north out of Elko on Mountain City Highway and look for the big blue roof on Lone Mountain Station. Lone Mountain Station is the local's favorite pit stop for your favorite refreshment or a hot meal. I recommend the Lone Mountain Burger. Oh yeah, Taylor Canyon. Taylor Canyon is a fun canyon that is not only a great ride, but an excellent jumping off point for some outstanding off-road adventure riding, like Jack Creek, or the historic town of Tuscarora, Wilson Reservoir, the old Starvation Mine, and the list goes on. We'll showcase more of these rides in our Dirt Edition. Number three, Mountain City Highway, named after the small town of Mountain City. This road heads north out of Elko all the way to the southern border of Idaho. The ride quickly turns fun as you climb up over Adobe Summit, and then after passing the Rock House, Lone Mountain Station, Amy's Cafe, just before the Wild Horse Reservoir, you will realize why this road is so special. As you pass the Wild Horse Reservoir Dam and into 30 miles of incredibly windy canyon roads in the beautiful Humboldt National Forest. Now I have to warn you that there is no fuel between Elko, Nevada and Oahe. That's 97 miles one way. So if you plan to turn around in Mountain City, make sure you top off your tank in Elko. If you connect Taylor Canyon into your ride without going all the way to Oahe, that can easily turn into a 200 mile ride without a fuel stop, but Oahe is only about 15 miles up the road past Mountain City. Number two, Angel Lake. Perched at 8,500 feet, this lake itself is surrounded by stunning glacial cirques, making you feel like you're one with the backcountry on this Butler Maps G1 road. This beautiful 12 mile paved road twists and turns 3,000 feet sharply upward, leading to the Angel Lake Recreation Area. The short but mighty Angel Lake Road begins in wells and ascends along rushing Angel Creek through sagebrush swept high desert groves of pinyon pine trees, mountain mahogany, and aspens, ultimately arriving at Angel Lake's slice of glacier-carved paradise. 
As you ride, keep your eyes peeled for bighorn sheep, mountain goats, pronghorn antelope, and much more. There is no guardrail to keep you from riding straight off the edge of this shelf road and launching your motorcycle 3,000 feet below. The Eastern Humboldt Range is known for dramatic, expansive views and alpine lakes. This extension of the Ruby Mountains, hidden in plain sight, 12 miles from Wells, yet a world away. Angel Lake is pristine beyond belief, and the recreation area is an ideal base camp. That brings us to number one, Lamoille Canyon. Just 20 minutes from downtown Elko, Nevada, and a Butler Maps G1 road. The Moyle Canyon Scenic Byway travels through the heart of Nevada's Ruby Mountains. Often, compared to the Swiss Alps, the Ruby Mountains' steep, craggy peaks rise nearly 5,000 feet above the valley below, capped by the Ruby Dome at 11,387 feet. A 45 minute ride puts you at the top of the Moyle Canyon Scenic Byway, where several hiking trails begin, ranging from a couple hour excursions to multi day through hikes on the Ruby Crest National Recreation Trail. Come winter, the Rubies boast 300 inches of the driest, fluffiest snow in the USA. Seducing snowshoers, snowmobilers, and powder hungry backcountry hella skiers alike. There is no ride quite like Lamoille Canyon. It's just incredible. Thanks for checking out my top five paved motorcycle rides in northeastern Nevada. There will be many more videos like this to come, so if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you're interested in more detail on any of these rides, links to the full videos are down in the comments. Ride safe. Take a look at this, ADV Nevada. <laughs> oh yeah, oh this is beautiful up here.